On the table right now, we have um, the brown that we had discussed, which is the original color of the, of the Bronco. We have green, which is a popular choice from you guys. Um, and looking at it, I'm not a green fan. I don't like green. Um, do I like green less than brown? That's a good question. But, uh, oh, hey. Here you go. I want that van and turn it into the van from old, old school. school. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I need that van. Welcome to another episode of My Point Three Garage. Uh, if you watched my last episode, I was in the middle of priming my 73 Bronco and my compressor took a crap on me and uh, I knew why. It's happened before and it may have happened to you and so I'm going to show you if this does happen, this is likely the cause. I've got a Husky 22 gallon. You may have a bigger or smaller one. You may have one from another manufacturer, but a lot of them are just like this so let's go take a look at it at first mine is a husky 22 gallon uh it's pretty old i think i've had it for maybe 10 years and um it has you know a standard up, i've already pulled the top off of it it was a few screws to get the top off of and then you have the motor here and the motor has a fan on the end of it and uh that's what caused this problem so the fan that was on here in the middle of running had come off or come loose, stopped blowing cold air, or stopped blowing air into the uh, armature of the motor there and uh, caused it to, I'm gonna say overheat, but get hot. And then uh, there are two eight millimeter bolts, one here and one on the bottom, you loosen those up. And then there's a bracket right here that holds the motor down uh, and it uses a, a flathead screwdriver and pull that off right there. Pull the motor out completely, the armature anyway. And then on the back side, I've already cut it apart. You're gonna see some, uh, at least on the Husky and probably some similar compressors, there's going to be uh, some some thermal tape that goes over this, but then you're going to see a thermal fuse, and it's usually wound in at the back side of the armature uh, so that it can uh, pop if the armature gets too hot before it starts a fire or does any permanent damage to the motor. And uh, all it is is this little tiny if I can get it to uh, fuse. Uh, thermal fuse and I want to say this is a hundred and twelve degrees Celsius fuse um, that you can get on Amazon for a few dollars uh, for a pack of like five and I'll try to link it in the description here if you're wanting to find some it's nice to have them if you know this is the type of uh, uh, compressor that you have it's nice to have them on hand because then you can do a quick repair. As you can see, there was a quick repair already done, and that's when I knew my compressor went down. I knew the, what the problem was because the exact same thing happened, and this was multiple years ago. Uh, it was running. The fan came loose. The fan came off. It kept running, and then it hit that. It overheated and popped this fuse, and I was just about to throw the whole thing away and buy another compressor when I just decided to tear it apart and figure out what was going on, used a multimeter to uh, trace down where the failure was. Uh, in the front of this there is also uh, in the front of this is, there is also a regular fuse that you should check first uh, but a lot of times if you see that fan is not on there anymore that's what happens that thermal fuse popped. So I'm gonna pull that thermal fuse out I'm gonna replace that thermal fuse I'm gonna retape it up with thermal tape I'm gonna put it back together and I'm gonna continue painting crisis averted. All right, so even after that disaster, it did warm up a little bit now. It's about 65 degrees outside. Uh, it's snowing again on Saturday. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna put this thing in 2K primer. Uh, this is the urethane primer that I'm gonna do two coats on only the body parts. Or I should say only the exterior that, that is gonna get painted that I'm gonna have to uh, block out. So that's going to be both fenders the door sill, because I did a lot of body work on the door sill, uh, the rear quarters on both sides, the doors on the outside skin, the hood, 
and the tailgate and uh, also the grill. Uh, those are all going to get two layers of 2K primer. Uh, I'm actually thinking about maybe doing three layers on the hood because the hood is the worst part of the body. From the standpoint of bodywork, uh, I've got one and a half hours to get this done before the front comes through and starts pushing the wind the opposite direction. I've got air flowing this way through the garage and so we are going to have to hurry. I'm not going to show you the mixing of it. This is a four to one primer because you've seen me mix primer like in five videos so far. So we're going to get straight to mixing this and then I'm going to get spraying. get the compressor fixed and we did get two layers of urethane, 2K urethane primer on the body and three on the hood. Now I'm going to block it out. Um, it now is fully on winter here in Colorado. We've already received well over a foot of snow in October and uh, now it is the beginning of November and the garage today is at about 38 degrees. So. Uh, I wanted to finish the paint before winter and I didn't get that done. But I think what would be more interesting for me anyway is to paint this in the winter. So I'm going to paint it in the winter. First I have to heat the garage. So uh, that's the first step to getting this painted. I am going to block this out. I probably won't film it. I don't know I might but I'm going to block it out and uh, at the same time install a heater and uh, I just don't know what kind of heater I'm going to put in here yet. I've been looking at electric, I've been looking at gas, I've been looking at uh, infrared tube. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do. So that's what I'm researching right now and uh, I will get back with you here pretty quickly. Um, and I think we may have chosen a color so we're going we're gonna to talk about that as well. Uh, but we will continue. So this is going to be painted. Uh, my business goes like this in November all the way through uh, Christmas. So I'm going to be absolutely hammered at work. And at the same time, I'm going to try to get this thing in paint as quickly as possible. So if you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe. We're having a good time here. Uh, just a two-person garage uh, family trying to get some uh, Broncos, one Bronco, two Bronco done. And also a... Uh, still a Wagoneer that's got to get a transmission rebuilt. So um, all that's happening here at Mile Point 3 Garage. Hope to see you on the next episode. And that's a wrap for Mile Point 3 Garage.